Good morning. It's a beautiful day in Wisconsin. We have our forms done and uh, we're gonna build some ICF foundation walls. The concrete guys have put in the footing and they're taking off the forms now and we're measuring out the location. John's over there in the form putting marks on the wall for the new wall location. This is all of our Nodura and our ICF forms. Athena wanted a specific location for the wall between this door and the window. And we marked everything on the siding and then we transferred that down to the footing. We'll have to remove all of this old plywood form that had been buried and get the insulation cut away so that we can put some dowels in the wall here and connect the two footings together. It's like stacking Legos. It's very plug and play. Those are the dowels in the concrete wall that join the two together. We have to put in some grounding per the code. And this is the, the copper wire that ties the rebar together. The rebar runs all the way down the wall to where the footing guys had embedded a run of rebar and we attach it there. Uh, there's nothing special about that. It's just the new grounding requirements for the code. If you want to learn more about how to put these walls together, I would say go to the Nodura website. They have great resources there. And if you want more instructional help, I would go to see the Nodura playlist on Bondo Bill YouTube channel, and he explains things very thoroughly. He even talks about tacking the floor or the wall down to the footing with foam and that should hold everything in place. And then we just start bracing the wall at the house. This is the alignment system. We rented this from the Nadura supplier. Very easy to use, very simple to put together. Uh, easy to move the walls in and out by twisting those uh, handles. And then here we put in a buck with some lag screws to hold the buck into the concrete so it doesn't move. And at the bottom we have some insulation where the, the concrete apron is going to be poured. You'll see more of that later in another video. And this is the end of the second day and we're basically ready to pour.